The only thing is, uh, I don't know where they will sleep. The only question is, where am I going to put a toddler bed in here? Now there's no way we have a room for a potty indoors. I have to buy the bassinets before and I have to put them in the house and make sure they fit. Maybe we can fit a infant crib in here somewhere. I don't know where. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have enough room to put cribs in here most of the time. Where can I put a high chair? Although we do need to get a place for her to sleep. Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge, where Paris is trying to have the next kid. She's very pregnant right now, but we do wacky quests in this 100 Baby Challenge. And the quest for today is going to be adopt a toddler and make good friends with the toddler. All right, well, we have no children right now, so that won't be too big of a problem. The only thing is, uh, I don't know where they will sleep and it costs a thousand simoleons to adopt a child. So we need to get earning some money all right we got a few things to sell i don't think this will be a thousand simoleons but we'll see how much we get also if you remember from last time we're in this wonderful little hut and we are only allowed to get rid of one thing per day so i have removed one of the lights and it was the last electric light in here so we have all candles now that will help us when we have our off the grid um I think Loki is aging up. He's going to be, Loki is a girl. So Loki is going to be an elder. This is kind of sad because Loki was our puppy from when we were a child. Yes, Loki has aged up and is now an elder. Now we're going to have to get some treats for her because she's going to get sick a lot. All right, that's enough to adopt the toddler. So we'll do that just as soon as we sell the last thing. All right, finally. The only question is, where am I going to put a toddler bed in here? Oh, this is so bugged. I cannot get a toddler or any adoption call to go through. It's because I'm off the grid and not technically on my home lot. The only way this works, I think, is if I could get a computer and that won't work because I have no power. Well, I'm not quite sure if I can actually adopt a toddler. Yeah, I have to be on my home lot. So what I did is I basically turned the power on. Okay, we have Fred. Oh, I have to be careful. Some of these might be infants and it's really hard to tell from the picture which one is an infant and which one is a toddler. A uh, Selena looks like a toddler. I think I'm going to go with Selena. And we'll just leave her name as Selena. She's adopted, so she does not count as one of the 100 babies. But we still have to raise her like we would a normal child. Uh, Hello, Selena. Okay, so here's what I've done is I put both of these beds in the bedroom. And the toddler bed... I put some towels at the end of it, kind of like blankets. They're just piled up in order to hide the fact that the adult bed is clipping just a little bit with the toddler bed. And they look like built-in beds when you have the walls up because they're actually right up against the wall. So the idea here is that they're just mattresses instead of actual beds and they don't really take up a lot of room. The only other thing that I could do is switch these out for sleeping bags or make Paris sleep outside. And I'm not ready to do that because what happens with sleeping bags is you think that you could get in them when they're on the floor, but you can't. You have to be able to get next to them. So they're just as bad as beds. Now there's no way we have a room for a potty indoors. So I got this little CC potty and this looks like the magic plant sim stump, but it's actually a toddler potty. So we have to become good friends. It looks like we're already friends. 
and she's angry for some reason. Why are you angry? Oh, right. I really don't want to be strict. But I guess it doesn't matter with Paris. Well, I'm not sure. Strict is not the best policy. Maybe if I ask her to calm down. Oh, that gets my parenting level up. I like that, actually, because the higher parenting level you have, the easier time you have taking care of babies and infants. So maybe if I just do a bunch of affection interactions, she actually will become my friend. Oh, and we're good friends already. Okay, well, that is easy. I attribute that to being in a tiny home. Oh, wow, and I'm already parenting level two. Now, since I have a toddler, I can no longer go hunting for food because I would have to hire a nanny or send her to daycare, and I'm not allowed to do that. So I think we might have to visit the shop and buy some food. We need to go out anyway because Loki needs some medicine because I know she's going to get sick since she's an elder. Well, now I have someone else who can pay attention to Loki. And Loki likes playing with the toddler. Oh, Paris has gone into labor. This is not a drill. Paris is having baby number three. Now, I happen to know it's only a single baby, but hey, I have to buy the bassinets before and I have to put them in the house and make sure they fit. So I have to check and see how many babies she's having. And we have a girl and her name is going to be Trinity. Oh, so cute. And Paris is now family oriented. Okay. All right. We need to unfortunately age this baby up quick because we need to go grocery shopping and we can't go grocery shopping until we age her up. Um, however, I get a tile so I can add one tile to this bedroom and maybe we can fit a infant crib in here somewhere. I don't know where. Should I count the toddler? I think I should count the toddler, even though the toddler doesn't count for the 100 baby challenge. I should get to add a tile for having to have an extra child in the household. So I'm going to add two tiles to the house. Okay, so I think this works. We got the baby cradle in here for now because Trinity is still a newborn. So she only needs that one little space. And we're going to put Paris's bed over here, the toddler's bed over there. And we did add two spaces back here so that they now both fit. But I had to put my little dresser out here. So the clothes are in the common area, that's fine. And we have all of the kids in our bedroom. Now, what I need to do for the infants is, unfortunately, I'm not going to have enough room to put cribs in here most of the time. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is using those little play mats, which is a shame because they, they only take up one tile, but the problem with the play mats is they don't look very good. I mean, they don't fit the vibe of this house, really. So this toddler bed is not too bad. I wanted the werewolf one, but the werewolf one has that huge canopy and you can't do a whole lot with it. So I got the smaller bed that kind of fits the style. And of course, the, the cradle is fine. So I might have to look for some CC play mats because I just don't like the ones they have in game. They're too bright and cheery and they look like they belong in a daycare. Okay, we'll hurry up and make friends because I think that we need to age this kid up to an infant as quickly as possible. Wow, it sure does take a long time to get to be good friends with an infant or a newborn because it seems like it was a lot easier with the toddler. This is supposed to be a tiny home. Maybe it doesn't affect the newborn interactions. Oh, finally, good friends. Okay, we can age you up now. We also need to look at getting pregnant again. Happy birthday, Trinity. You're now an infant and we are wiggly. 
Well, it looks like we got a regular human baby. This one is not a werewolf, which is actually unfortunate because the werewolves were going to be allowed to sleep outside as toddlers, but not the regular human babies. And now I have an adopted toddler and an infant. So we'll take a shower real quick. Um, we don't have a lot of simoleons though. We need to get some more money before we can go and get something to eat. Also, I was going to have all of the babies born at a hospital so that I could get a birth certificate, but we got the handprints. I think maybe that's enough. All right, we managed to sell one more item. And maybe we'll try to get some ferocious intimidations in because it's almost midnight. Okay, she gave us something. All right, well, we have 905 simoleons and we get to spin the winning wheel. And we get, oh, only 20%. 20% of 905 is 181 simoleons for a total of 1,086 simoleons. Well, not too bad. For some reason, Kendrick really likes me and I haven't even introduced myself yet. So let's see if Kendrick is married. Since he's purple, I'm assuming he's an alien or half alien. Okay, he's single. And does he like women? Well, he does. I had Gregory lined up for the next baby daddy, but our romance is a little weak. And since Kendrick is just right here, I mean, why not? Okay, let's see where the closest bush is to my house. If I remember correctly, it's not very close at all. Okay, and by the way, the quest for today is to open a vet clinic. And we have to run it for at least eight hours. That is going to be really tough. We only have a thousand simoleons. Oh, and he immediately left. Well, let's hope we're pregnant. No, we're not pregnant. And he left. Well, we'll have to try again. No, Paris, you can't hunt for food. We can make a fruit salad, so we'll try that. Oh, come on. What do you mean you can't do it? Oh, is it the stupid frog? Yeah, I think the frog was in the way. Sometimes move objects allows you to put stuff on the counter, and sometimes it doesn't. What are you doing, Paris? Did you really have to pee that bad? And you didn't even finish peeing. Okay, no, you're not going to eat that because you're going to hate it. Put it down. Okay, why can't you eat the fruit salad? Okay, now she ate it. I'm not so sure it's worth doing the vet clinic. I guess we could make some money out of it. Okay, the cheapest I can get it is 2,500 simoleons. And it's because I already used the lot that was worth zero simoleons when you bulldoze it, which is the park in Delso Valley. I don't want to bulldoze that house because that's where Zero lived and where we started this challenge. So the only other choice I had was the 750 simoleon lot, which is in Evergreen Harbor. And in order to buy the cheapest podium and the cheapest exam table, which is the minimum to run a vet clinic, it is 2,500 simoleons. So we're probably not going to get that today. And why have these plants reverted? I mean, I thought they fixed that. Apparently they have not. Now that play mat is much better. It fits the vibe perfectly. And I don't know why they didn't give us some more neutral colors for that thing. Okay, if we can just get her to lift her head, and she did. We'll try to get something else to sell, but it's really hard because these things don't sell for very much. I honestly think we get more by doing Ferocious Intimidation. Let's go ahead and max out the potty skill, or at least get it to level 2 so that we don't have to ask for help anymore. And now Selena can use the potty chair. Oh, Kendrick is back. Should we try for another baby? Okay, maybe we can get the rest of it through Ferocious Intimidation. And now she's an apex. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Intimidating Christopher wasn't going to work, but I just had to try. Eating for two. Well, that was a delayed reaction. She didn't even finish peeing. 
Now Paris is about to pass out, and I still need 500 simoleons more. I don't think she can do ferocious intimidation while she's pregnant. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, we were able to get 2,500 simoleons. I'm not going to be able to open it today, but I don't think that counts since we didn't already have one. So this is the little vet clinic I made. All I have is a podium and an exam table, which is the cheapest ones. And we have some debug walls and a fence. So this is kind of like a free vet clinic for now. It's kind of nice when you're about to rampage that you can still take care of your kids. But unfortunately, that does not include feeding infants. You can feed the babies, but for whatever reason, you cannot feed the infants. Well, I can still have a yard sale, even though I can't feed my baby. Well, technically it's past midnight, so I only got the bonus on 86 simoleons. And we get 49%. Which is another 42 simoleons for a total, uh, well, we have 728 now because we sold some things. But we didn't get to count that as part of what we get. See, we can't intimidate. We can only introduce ourselves. So that's bad. And our quest for the next day is to vacation in Granite Falls. Collect 10 items, fish, bugs, plants, and make friends with the hermit. Well, that's going to cost something. And Paris is transforming. Oh, it's the full moon, too. I think she regains her energy. All right, let's see if we can get some rolling over action going. And we did. All right, going to Granite Falls means probably staying in the camping area. So we want to take some things with us. And great, it's raining here. Well, you need the drill going through the cave. And here's the hermit. Okay, we're friends. That's all we need to do. That's all it had, just one blackberry? Oh well, we can plant that. And it's raining again. Should I be allowed to take this? No, I don't think so. Not for the 100 baby challenge. We only can get money through our method of earning money. Oh, what milestone are you getting now, Trinity? Okay, you can laugh. Okay, we got 10 items, even though one of them was a salvage part. We're going to go ahead and end the vacation. Maybe we can get some sitting practice in. Not that I think she'll learn it on the first try. She hasn't rolled over to tummy yet, so I don't know if she can learn sitting. Oh, is she going to learn it first try without knowing how to roll over? She rolled over to her tummy. Okay, from practicing sitting. Okay, so we can roll over both directions. We need sitting. We can laugh, we need babbling, and she can put her toe in her mouth, so she needs pincer grasp, which we have to get a high chair first. So we're still doing pretty well. I don't know what happened to my maid, but it doesn't look like we have one anymore because I haven't seen anybody. Maybe they quit when I couldn't pay them the first time. Well, it's the end of the day and we get to spin the winning wheel and we get 37% for another 196 simoleons. And that gives us 725 simoleons. Now for today, we need to drink five different potions, which we don't have any potions right now. I guess, does reward store potions count? I'm going to say they do because I really have nothing else to spend my satisfaction points on. So yeah, we have a bunch of potions now, but I really don't need to do it yet. Oh, she's able to creep now. We didn't really need that one, but okay. We'll go ahead and drink the Instaline potion because Paris has gotten a little chubby from having all the kids and all the junk food, but I'm sure she'll gain it all back. Okay, the next one we're going to do is the instant hygiene because her hygiene is always so terrible. Okay, here on Hennifer on Bagley, I actually have a grocery store with a bunch of food in it. So we're going to buy some things from here because 
that's just how she's going to be able to get all of these things. Uh, the cakes are going to be really hard if she has the cursed slot trait. So I'm going to buy all the cheap stuff. We also need to get some pet treats for Loki. I'm just too lazy to try and put him on the exam table and try and cure him every time he gets sick or she gets sick. Oh, and she sat up all by herself. Good job, Trinity. I could not get the portable tub to work for the dog. Maybe you aren't supposed to use it for the dogs? I thought you were, though. It kept saying that all of the available bathtubs were clogged. The only problem with these large bathtubs is that the Sims try and actually use it to take a bath. And I don't want them to do that. I just want a bathtub for the dogs and not for the Sims to use. Okay, my needs are low enough. I'm going to go ahead and drink the Moodlet Solver. So that'll be potion number three. Oh, I have it backwards for some reason. Now Trinity can babble. All we have to do is get a high chair, I think. And then we should be able to age her up. Oh, she does need to learn to stand still. Okay, she learned to clap. When I was doing that with Super Sim, she did not learn how to clap until she was interacting with someone else. And she's over here by herself. Trinity is just getting all the milestones. Where can I put a high chair? Hmm. I think I might have to put one over here somewhere. I can get rid of three items. Okay, I think one of the things that's going to go is this table. It's really nice and kind of slender, but it is two tiles wide, and I don't think I can afford that. Okay, I think that works. Okay, I have some mushrooms I could probably give her. There's nothing really that is similar to mushrooms, so maybe I'll just call it hummus. Oh, and she likes it. And now Selena has mastered potty training. And the last two we drank was a sleep replacement and a energized potion. So we spin the wheel and we get 49%. And that gives us another 953 simoleons for a total of 2,898 simoleons. So for the next quest, we need to watch a puppet show while everyone is playful. In order to do a puppet show, I need a child. So, maybe we can age up Selena. Alright, the bathtubs just aren't working, and I think it's because of the off-the-grid issue, so we're unfortunately going to probably end up being a strict parent. Because you can't have the toddler ask to be cleaned up. You can only do it from the adult's perspective. And Trinity got pincer grasp. I think that means that we can age her up as soon as she learns how to stand. The only thing is, I don't think there's anything for her to stand up on. Yeah, I'm going to have to buy a chair outside because they won't even do it inside. Okay, it looks like she's going to go stand. And this animation is cute, but it takes forever. She's going to sit there for like 30 seconds with a little glowing, sparkling thing. And then eventually she reaches up and stands up. So cute. Okay, she pulled the stand. Now we can age her up. But we have to go get a cake first. How are you doing, Selena? Wow, you're all the way over here? She's just running around. Maybe I should buy the slide. Because that will make her go so much faster. And it's time to age up Selena. Three days early. Only one day early for Trinity, but she's an infant. That one's the hardest one to get. Well, apparently you can't put birthday candles on a carrot cake. It's a good thing I got this cake too. Okay, Selena, happy birthday. And she's going to be adventurous and a playtime captain. Okay, Trinity, stop trying to sneak away. It's your turn to blow out the candles. Hobble Borpna. And you're going to be silly. And she's a top-notch infant. Cool. Okay, let's potty train her. 
Okay, they're all playful. Not very playful for the kids, but I don't think that matters as much because the kids can't die from emotional deaths. Really, neither can Paris because she's actually pregnant right now. Okay, everyone come and watch the puppet show. Paris is actually hysterical. It's a good thing she's pregnant. Oh, and Selena got very uncomfortable. Oh, it's because she ate something. Oh, well, she's not the one watching, so I'm just going to say that doesn't count. And this helps her imagination skill. Oh, that's cool. And I guess they're fighting. Is this almost done? Okay, there we go. Oh, and Paris has gone into labor. Okay, you can't have anything under the bassinet. Or, for some reason, she can't get to it. And it's a girl. So, this is baby number four, and her name is going to be Clover. Okay, so we're not in a hurry to get baby Clover to be an infant. Well, actually, maybe we are, because we just have a toddler now. We don't have any more infants. So having one infant at a time and one toddler at a time is ideal, as long as we don't have twins. And then Selena is a child, so she can actually now start helping out with dishes and things like that. Although we do need to get a place for her to sleep. And since we had another baby... We do get one more tile in this room. Okay, tree houses are 1,200 simoleons. So that's probably what we need to get next. Oh, Paris is still hysterical. Um, yeah, that's not a good thing. Paris, why don't you try to calm down? I cannot tell you how many sims I have lost to hysteria. Oh, wow, Clover's already a good friend. Okay, we can age her up. And we are a cautious infant. Oh, Paris has been feeling really calm and cheerful lately. Has Paris learned to temper down her hot-headed behavior? So we get to make her cheerful instead of hot-headed. That would be nice, yes. Oh no, she's hysterical again. Oh, I forgot about this playful aura I had over here. Whoops. Okay, it went away. Come on, change her away from being hysterical. Thank you. Okay, I'm getting rid of this rug. It is annoying me because I keep moving it. All right, Paris, you're sleeping outside. And we did win this time. So we spin the winning wheel and we get 10%. Okay, well, I don't even need a calculator for that. That's 33 simoleons. For a total of 372 simoleons. Why are you going out here to eat it? Okay. And the pouring rain. Okay, today we need to visit an onsen, and we need to make sure that we avoid any embarrassed moodlets. Okay, I do think we need to think about getting Paris pregnant again soon. There's still Gregory. I guess we could invite him over when it becomes light up enough outside. And Clover can reach now. And now she can lift her head. What if we invited Gregory to the onsen with us? Okay, Selena went off to school, so she's going to study hard. We have to make sure that Gregory is still single. Oh, he is. Of course, we don't have the benefit of the tiny home boosts here. Okay, we're going to have to leave. We're not going to be able to do it in the hot springs because Paris is about to transform. Uh, she can't even regain control and she's a max werewolf. I must have screwed up her uh, outfits when I went into Kaz. She's not supposed to have be wearing clothes when she's a werewolf. No, I did not say go over there and scratch that. Well, that's the end of Friday. And we get to spin the winning wheel, even though we didn't get pregnant. And we get a whopping 4%. Which gives us another 12 simoleons. For a total of 312 simoleons. 
Now, today's quest is to obtain autographs from at least three celebrities, with one being a global superstar. We don't really know a lot of celebrities, so I guess we have to go to Del Sol Valley sometime tomorrow. And we're getting an earthquake or maybe some volcanic bombs. Well, here we are in Del Sol Valley. We'll just put the little ones down for a nap. Oh no, she won't give me an autograph. At least I can ask Ian right away. No one wants to give me an autograph. Oh, I got an autograph with my kid. <laughs> so Selena got an autograph from Angel. Well, apparently Rory is a celebrity now. Well, at least Rory would give me one. Okay, I see a whole bunch of lower level celebrities, but no global superstars. Oh, there's a global superstar. Oh, and he's actually going to give me an autograph? Wow. That was easy. Well, we get to spin the winning wheel and we get 6%. Wow. So that's another 37 simoleons for a total of 639 simoleons. Let's see if we can woohoo with Gregory just before we call it the end of the week. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.